back to day five of surviving off what I catch here. I'm at the bait shop again, and it looks like they ran out of live shrimp. I gotta wait an hour, so I probably won't do that. I'm just gonna head to the pier and try, try my luck here. I didn't sleep that well last night. The no see has destroyed my leg. I see them in the corner of my car. I didn't notice till like this morning. They were just there. We'll see what we can do today. Hopefully we get better luck. I'm gonna try to go back to Daniel Beach Pier. Um, I got a little distracted yesterday because I found D and he was showing me around his spots and we didn't have any luck. So we'll try the pier today. If there's nothing, we'll keep on moving. So stay tuned. I'm checking the uh, conditions and also the live pier cam. Looks like a lot of people out here right now. And it's 8.30 a.m. It's like the tides or major periods, minor periods, just like no activity at all. First minor, the next minor period is at 12.57 a.m. Wait, no. The major period is 8.24, so I missed that. Next activity is going to be 12.52 p.m. Fish activity, terrible. I'm going to try it out, fish for a few hours. I'm not going to expect much coming in. Coming in very optimistic here. All right, guys, I had a blue runner on this, a trolley rig, and he got smoked. You're on some some line. Oh, yeah, it's his line. <laughs> Did not expect that thing to get pounded that hard. He got smoked. This guy does not want to move, man. I think he rocked me. Let me get some slack and see if he runs. There we go. I got the professional. Oh, the Amberjack? Ah! Oh, just... Yeah, I'm gonna eat this guy. You're gonna keep him? I've never caught an Amberjack before. Nice fish. Woo! Nice, huh? Yeah. Man, he's pulling. Oh, he's bigger. Yeah. Homeboy Cor Corey on here. He's gonna release it. That was me. This dude's got something on too. You on, puppy? Hey, they... Oh no, nah. trigger fish. Ah. Hey, they're actually good eating. Great eating. I forgot to show y'all. I'm running a trolley rig, five What's ounces. So basically, I throw this this out, and then I hook this on and throw the fish out. I'll show you in a second here. That jack of cotton fork. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll just come down when you're ready. Get that bag and throw it out. Yeah, I'll be killed. All right, now we hook this guy up. All right, there he goes. Yeah, we're on. Just tighten that drag up. Let's see what it is. I'm sorry. What is this? Amberjack? Another Amberjack? <sighs> oh, he swallowed that thing. Look at this. Sorry, but ooh, just took a stop, job. Dang, look at that. Look at that. All right, just loaded up the car. Gonna try a different pier now. The reason why I left is because my time went out. Right here is like 10:38, and I only paid for two hours, which is four dollars because it's two dollars each hour. But yeah, overall, very slow day. Not only that my parking meter run out, but I also don't have enough bait as well. The bait weren't running, no one was catching anything. I saw some guys with um, goggle eyes as well. They weren't catching anything. I was the only one who caught anything on that pier, so I'm, I'm glad I caught something. But let's go to another pier here. I forgot to mention too, I've been drinking like kombucha, like coconut water, and things like this. I'm not getting enough fruit and veggies in me I'm just eating straight fish so 
keep that in mind too. That's what's keeping me alive right now. I gotta hydrate because it's super hot and I'm not getting enough food so I have to drink something. Before I forget, make sure you pay for parking here. They do not mess around. There's always people who are um, law enforcement or whatever who check uh, the meters and your the ticket that you put in your dashboard. So make sure you do that before you go to pier. Just got to Papano Beach Pier. I'm loading right now. Already paid my meter. Cost two dollars fifty cents an hour. I'm gonna walk over there and try to get bait before uh, we throw out the big rods here. Just pulled up under the shade here. Picked up some shrimps too from Publix. Two eighty for point three five pounds. Since the other shop didn't have any earlier, so see if I can get some bait fish here. Sibiki Sunday. Oh, I'm getting hits. Hits. We're on. That was quick. Got a runner. Oh no! I needed him. There's plenty of bait here, guys. Tripled up here. Hopefully, there's big fish. Yeah. All, all pinfish. Oh, he's about to get smoked right here. He's about to get smoked. He's about to get smoked. Come on, take him. Take him. Please take him. Please take him. Oh, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Yes. Come on. No. Come on. Come back. Oh, see. He's not interested. Bro, what is going on over here? Iguana man and a pelican. Just left the pier. My morale is pretty low. Like you guys saw yesterday or the day before when we were at Sebastian Inlet and then I left trying to get snook. The snook were there and they weren't biting. They're just, I don't know what's up. And then the day after I skunk and today I didn't skunk but caught the fish that were not in, in reg so I had to throw it away. Still very slow. Not, like a person on the pier, uh, uh, popping up pier where I just left, he caught an amberjack. Um, but it was a great year, so. And then I think when I left, someone else caught an undersized mutton, but you know, that's like three hours of no one catching anything. So we'll see what I do now. Just got to Hills Barrow Inlet here. Gonna give this one last shot today and then call it quits if nothing hits here. Might have to eat some pinfish for dinner. Get bait. That's the only thing we can do now. Come get it. Come get it. This oh yes, blue runner. Perfect. Candy right there. Turn the live well on. Hey bro, let me hop on. What's up? Let me hop on. No, the ball. No, no, no. Wow, that was nice. Clutch. Candy. Oh, he bent my hook too. It's so weird to me to see Christmas lights out when it's you know 86, 85 degrees. When I think of Christmas, I think of like snow and the cold. I made the decision to use the bait today because some of them blue runners that I caught already started to die. I don't know why. I'm just so frustrated right now and I catch a fish and my bait dying too. I'm just gonna go to um, Deerfield Beach Pier now and give that a shot. I literally just caught them and they're all dead. I don't know why. I changed out the water too. Air Raiders green, you know, strong. All right, y'all quicker to guess it, but bait has turned into dinner i couldn't record what i was doing back there but i had no bites and a guy was playing music so i didn't record but i'm gonna flay these guys and eat them for dinner so we have some very small blue blue runners i had one pin fit a pin fish i cut up too we actually never had pin fish before so i'm gonna try one out i think this is the pin fish right there 
Got some zucchini. And then I rolled up some of this lemon so when I cut it, it's easier to squeeze on the fish. And of course, can't forget salt pepper. Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I did not want to cook at all. I'm just so exhausted, lack of sleep, fish all day, and just you know frustrated as well. So just gonna get it over with and uh, show you how it looks after here. All right, so this is the end result. This is the pinfish. I peeled a piece off already. I'm gonna give it a try because it's my first time trying it. And I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Here we go. Let's try this pinfish here. Mmm. Not the best, honestly. Out of out of ten, I mean, I didn't cook it that well either. But out of ten, I'll give it a five, maybe. I definitely wouldn't eat it again if I had to. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm super tired and I gotta drive, continue driving after I eat too. So stay tuned guys, till the next video. All right guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below. So check that out as well.